Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a special little unboxing for you today. This is actually uh, a series, uh, not unlike uh, the Vestron video series or like, um, uh, well, to a larger extent, something like Arrow or Vinegar Syndrome, something like that. This is a newer um, collection, collectible thing for me. I just uh, bought three. I think these are the only three that are available, actually. But these are, this is a new, watch this start over. Uh, as you can see here, it says at the bottom of this DOA edition, it says MVD Rewind Collection. Now, MVD, I think it says in the back here, MVD Visual, what else is on here? I believe that's a, that company that's been releasing things for a while. They've got, um, I think, 30 or 40 films under their belt. Um, but this new collection here, this Rewind Collection, is a newer thing they started this, this last um, September or October, I think. And it's, like I said, in the line of, um, like a Vestron thing. Kind of a retro grade. Uh, and they've made the covers here to all look like, uh, sort of like VHS covers. In fact, you can see, it looks like stickers here. It says Special Electric Edition. And on this one here, it says, and this one, I think, yeah. Uh, it says, Be Kind, Rewind, which they used to put on the VHS uh, tapes and used to rent them. Just, to, when you, just as a reminder, when you return your VHS, to rewind it so they didn't have to do it at the store because they would charge you, I believe, a dollar or two depending on where you got them from if you did not re rewind your video. So I thought that was very cool and um, even though I have not seen any of these films of these three films I um, I was so in, uh, in love of the packaging and the way this looked and I just I decided I wanted to support them because it's a new venture for them even though they've been, like I said, they're, they've been around for a while I think, but uh, I had never really heard of them before, and I just loved the way this packaging looks, and I just wanted to support them, so. I thought, what the hell, I'll give it a shot. Maybe I'll collect them, maybe I won't. Um, there's a couple coming up that I'm very interested in. I think Return of Swamp Thing comes out in a month or two, and then uh, a movie called Abominable comes out in, like, June, and that looks very cool to me. Um, and I just wanted to support them. There's a couple other films that don't look like the same vein, so I might not get those, but these ones I figured I'd get. Um, so let me just take a look here. And they are numbered, of course. They're, of course they're numbered, which is how they get you. This is the first three that they released. And like I said, I think this one, um, Black Eagle, starring Jean-Claude Van Damme, was just released about a week or so ago. So it's got a sticker there. Oh, well, it's not a real sticker. It looks like a sticker, but it's just a packaging. It looks like a sticker of action-adventure to be in the action-adventure, um, you know, category in the, in the video store, which is just awesome. I miss video stores. I was about to go in order here, so I got these three films, and as I said, I ordered these because uh, I just kind of want to support them. I've seen none of them, so I don't, ha I can't tell you if the films are good because I wouldn't know. The transfers are supposed to be good. I also don't know that either. So, like I said, this is more of a this is more of a blind buy, impulse buy for me because I was just I was reading up on well this one specifically because I actually do own. From Arrow Video, I own Return of the Killer Tomatoes, and I had never seen this film, and I thought, well, I was thinking about just buying this alone, and then when I saw it was a part of the series, and I started reading about the series, and one thing led to another, and I wanted the rest of them, so, because that's just how I roll. But uh, I am starting a lot of conversations here, so how about I just start over with this DOA, which is one I initially had not planned on buying because it does not seem like something that's up my alley. Um, it's a... Um, we call it a rockumentary. You can read that text there. It's a, uh, a rockumentary about the origin of punk rock, centered around the Sex Pistols in 1978 tour of the United States. States, I said that wrong. Uh, before they broke up, talking about people involved in the Sex Pistols, bands they toured with. Uh, this guy, this director, um, where's it say, Lesh Kowalski, Lech, something like that. Followed them around with cameras, just regular handheld cameras, and just, you know, documented them. It has performances, actual live performances from Sex Pistols, The, the Dead Boys, oops, shit, Generation X with Billy Idol, uh, Rich Kids, X-Ray Specs, and Sam 69, along with additional music from The Clash and Iggy Pop. This iconic documentary is now the first time ever on disc. I had never heard of this. In fact, DOA, I thought it was something else, like a dirt movie, but it turns out it was this. <laughs> I'm not sure why they went with this for the first time. I'm not sure what their category catalog looks like. Um, I'm assuming a lot of stuff like this. I mean, it's not like specifically horror related or specifically like shock related or anything. I think it's just a lot of different things. So, or schlocky. 
Special features here though, as I zoom in here. I don't know if you can really read that. It's kind of, uh, cut. Uh, there we go, that's a little better. Um, Dead and Rival, Punk Rock. Punk documentary that almost never was. The feature length documentary about the making of DOA and a bunch of interviews with a bunch of people. And then it's got a booklet, uh, original artwork, photo gallery, two sided poster included, and an original theatrical trailer. So I actually want to open this up because I'm just sitting here looking at this forever. I was never a huge fan, if I'm being honest, of the Vestron collection because I feel like it was a lazy packaging attempt. Um, Which is why I eventually stopped collecting them, because I just and I also the, I watched a lot of the movie, a several, almost all of them, and I didn't really care for any of them besides um, like Chopping Mall, which was a, Chopping Mall is a good film in its own right, but I didn't care for the ones I watched. This is a very tight slipcover, by the way. I don't know if you can tell there. It's very tight. That's what she said. Very cool. I thought this would actually be thicker, more like um, Euro video cases, but this is cool too. Look, it's already done, too. I like that, that they already have them. Good stuff. That's the DVD. Here's the poster and the booklet and the, the uh, Blu-rays on the left. I'll switch those around because that's how I like it. There's some disc uh, and some um, background art, too, it looks like. April 10th. Hmm. Cool. I don't know if I like the disc art though. It seems kind of plain. Hmm. I wonder if it all like that. Seems like a specific thing. So um, I don't like that so much, but it's not like it's a big deal. Because of the poster though, which is cool, even though it's a little thing that I probably wouldn't put up anywhere. Sex Pistols, Johnny Rotten, Sid Vicious, Steve Jones, and Paul Cook. I wasn't really, really a big fan of the Sex Pistols, but, uh, you know. Cool. And then we have a book right here, which is cool. One thing I, again, I was just talking about, um, Vestron. They didn't have any supplemental, like, I mean, besides, they have supplemental features, of course, but they didn't have anything like just a simple poster or a book or nothing in it. And, then, and just regular cases, too, just regular blue cases, not... Like, at least, like, a clear case or a black case. I think if they'd made black cases for that, it would have been a little bit better. But it just seemed... I don't know. I like this one better already because it's got a booklet. What am I doing here? Uh, that's just a vision of two films. I'm not going to go ahead and read all this, but this is cool. It's like it's got one essay. I sort of like Criterion. Like, just a single essay and some photos. Hmm, cool. That's nice. Like I said, this was the one of the, of the three. I thought I was not going to buy this one initially because it just is not really up my alley. But being a completionist, I had to get that one too. And we'll see if yeah, I like it or not. There's that one. Let's open this one up too just to get the plastic off. It's not so destructive here. What's it say up here? It says, UFOs, Bigfoot, Communists. The government has swiftly dealt with many a crisis, but can it survive the diabolical attack of the killer tomatoes? Just when you thought it was safe to go back to the supermarket, you're face-to-face -face with terror so bold, so frightening, it has never been seen on screen before or since. Well, not until the sequel anyway, which is kind of funny. Um, after a series of bizarre and increasingly horrific attacks from pulpy red seeded fruit, Mason Dixon... David Miller, finds himself leading a crack team of specialists to save the planet. But will they be quick enough to save everyone? To save you? You can't run. You can't swim. There's nowhere to hide. The killer tomatoes are everywhere. <laughs> so obviously it's like a com comedy horror type film. New remastered 4K transfer. Uh... Audio commentary from the writer-director, director, writer-star. 
Um, seven featurettes, three deleted scenes, uh, original eight millimeter short film. That's cool. Go on with the Babu Salud, Babu Salud, Babu Saland, Babu Saland. Original eight millimeter short that inspired Attack on the Minnesota. Hmm. With optional commentary, trailer, design photos, radio spots, Easter eggs, and collectible poster. Apparently, cool. So I guess they don't all have um, booklets. Ah, they have something at least. There's another poster in here. Yeah. No background art though too. That's kind of lame. Yeah, that must be why they do that. Then it's just the exact same thing. Just regular white discs. Hard. Tag of the cool tomatoes. And nothing on the back. the sticker that's awesome I remember these it's nostalgic as hell and then Black Eagle be kind rewind action adventure special collector's edition I think they all say that don't they yeah special collector's edition so these are all supposed to be collector's edition like type films or editions or something like that This fight is one-on-one. -on -one. After an F-11 gets shot down over the Mediterranean Sea, the U.S. government cannot afford to lose the top-secret laser tracking device that was on board. But unfortunately, the KGB team led by the infamous Andre... Is it Andre? Yeah. Jean-Claude Van Damme. He's kind of almost too a soldier. Are beating the CIA in the race to find it. The CIA has no choice but to call in their best man, master martial artist Ken Tani. Sho Kosugi from Revenge of the, Nerd, Revenge of the Ninja. I must say Revenge of the Nerds, that's not right. Codename Black Eagle. In response, the KGB resorts to an all out war with powerful Andre matching Ken blow for blow from legendary action director Eric Carson. Black Eagle also stars uh, Doran Clark, who's French, and William Bassett. So it sounds like a nice action film. Uh, high definition Blu-ray, standard definition DVD, original Tupono Stereo soundtrack, uh, audio, and includes a nice minute theatrical version. Oh, that's right, there's two versions here, aren't there? That was like a big deal. Uh, 104 minute uncut extended version plus the theatrical version. Martial arts legend featuring new interviews to show Kazuki and Shane Kazuki and more. Making of Black Eagle, featuring interviews with director, producer Eric Carson, screener, blah, blah, blah. Script and the screenwriters. Featuring Michael Gonzalez, Eric Carson, and more. Deleted scenes, original theater post, trailer, and title poster. So again, looks like there's a poster involved, but no booklet. And no background art, which is lame. But, you know, like I said. Excuse me. I also like, as you saw before, that the um, slip covers are um, shrink wrap, just like a Screen Factory kind of is. I appreciate that. We won't, we won't be pulling some doo dahs or something like that in the store. People like me, I guess, because I used to do shit like that. I am I understand why you wouldn't want people to do that. Because you don't want to keep them yourself. Black Eagle. It's the same. It's that there. Cool. See that they include that. I guess it's not really like a big deal to have it. But it's just a little bit extra is cool. Like I said, I keep bringing it up anyway. Vestron, I feel like, was kind of lazy line of films because it's just it's just the movie and Blu-ray and then slipcover. Like if I didn't get these with slipcovers, I mean with well, the best round ones, I was upset. These I feel like wouldn't be as big a deal for whatever reason. Also the colors change too, that's pretty cool. It's nice that they're not all exactly the same. I kind of want to watch Black Eagle right now. But yeah, that's it. There are um, a bunch more being released in the next, like, three, four months, actually. Like, like four more. 
I think are being released. There's a couple, like I said, that don't really, they're kind of like more like dramas. And then uh, Swamp Thing or Return of Swamp Thing comes out. And then that Abominable Snowman one comes out. And then who knows what else. But um, anyway, that's well, that's all. Very simple, very quick. Well, I guess not very quick boxing, but um, I hope this, uh, if you've never heard of them before, I hope you're like interested in them now or whatever. Like I said, I'm really mainly doing this because I want to support labels like this because I like um, when labels beyond the um, Universals and Warner Brothers actually release films and they're more niche titles versus like, you know, like another re-release of who the fuck knows? Like, how many times? Like, fucking Jurassic Park. I mean, I love Jurassic Park, but it's, like, had, like, four releases. Or, like, um... I can't think of anything off the top of my head. There's a lot of movies that should be... That have been released a thousand times. And there's a lot of movies, like, you know, something like Black Eagle. that's never been released on Blu-ray at all. So, we need more of, like, these vintage sites. Or these, um... Boutiques. Like a Vendor's Syndrome. Like an Arrow video. Like a, um... Stream Factory. Shell Factory. Doing stuff like this. And I like it, so... That's why I'm supporting them. These look interesting to me. At least um, Black Eagle and Attack of the Killer Tomatoes do. DOA I might not really be into, but I'm curious, though. So I have it and I can watch it. That's it. Thanks, guys, for watching. And I will see you around probably very soon, actually. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and bye.